Hey, welcome back to Blue Ridge Crypto. My name is JJ. I'm Leslie. And we're here to bring you the weekly update of all things crypto. It is Sunday, and uh, hopefully everyone didn't get murdered on Friday with uh, the crazy drop. Yeah, that was... Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, interesting, to say the least. We'll just go with that. <laughs> yeah, luckily I... I I still had a I still had a Solana in, and you remember when we talked about the moon phases? Yep. And we said that Thursday was supposed to be the top, right? And I didn't listen. <laughs> I didn't listen. I left. I left. Uh, I left the soul in. I did one. I didn't take profit, which I should have. Two. I didn't have a stop loss. Strike two because I was trying to build. I was trying to build uh, basically for a long term and. I guess I probably over leveraged and I didn't get stopped out luckily. Um, but, uh, I did get in the weekend trap, which I'll talk about. Um, but, uh, yeah. How's, <laughs> how's the week going so far for you? <laughs> it's, it's Sunday. Yeah, it is Sunday. We got a short week next week cause mm-hmm. my birthday's next Monday. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. How, how old are you going to be? 21. 21? Okay, we'll say that. A lady never tells her <laughs> age, right? 21. <laughs> 21 plus 21. 21 yeah. times 2. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, whatever. Um, so uh, what we got on the agenda for today? We got news, of course. Okay, news, yeah. And then we're going to go through the charts. Yep. You guys need to stay to the end because the winner comes at the very yeah. end. Yeah. Guess, guess, how, guess how many comments we had? One million. <laughs> I wish. We had I wish. Where are you almost there? We had over 300 comments. That's amazing. Yeah. High five, so everybody. thank you guys thank so, you much. so I, much. I really do appreciate it. Uh, so stay till the end. I have everyone's name in our wheel. Um, but uh, again, kind of let's kind of just kind of jump in real quick. And uh, again, what we're going to do is we're also going to do another contest as well because I only gave everybody a week and. Uh, we only had like about a thousand views, and I know we've in previous um, uh, videos we've had more than a thousand. So um, yeah, maybe every summertime, all that good stuff. Um, but uh, again, what we'll do is we'll do the spin wheel. We'll give a hundred bucks to a lucky winner. Um, but what we'll do next is um, I'm going to be looking at meme coins, and a lot of folks put in Bitcoin, Ethereum. USDT (laughs) is not a crypto coin. Um, I mean, it is, but it's not a coin I can chart. (laughs) Um, Solana was a big one. Um, Doge, obviously Doge is a meme coin, but it does have, it does have some utility. So what we're going to do is I've actually created a, um, a wallet for our community. And so what we're asking is that if anybody has any meme coins you'd like us to cover, Definitely drop it. What we'll do is we're going to drop the uh, address in our chart here. Um, And what we'll do is I'm going to go ahead and drop down either Solana address as well as any Ethereum-based tokens address. Or I know Bitcoin also has them as well too. Send us your meme coins to any of those addresses as well as drop that meme coin name in the comments below. And what we'll do, I already started. I put uh, over $100 in gummy um, into uh, into the wallet. And so really what we're looking for is anybody who would like us to cover those meme coins, send us your meme coin, as well as drop the meme coins in the comments. Down below. On our next, on our next podcast, what we'll do at least minimum, I'm going to give away over $100 worth of gummy. Uh, but also to anybody who sends in their meme coins as well, we're going to give that back to the community. So just another way to give back as well too. Um, I definitely appreciate all the comments uh, below. Um, as far as that piece, again, we pass over 5,000. Yeah. So great job. Uh, we are looking for that 10K marker. So again, Let's like and subscribe it. if you're not new to the channel. Um, but again, comments below. Um, I would give a shout out as well too. Um, what shirt do you have on today? Bearded Vinyl. If Bearded you Vinyl. are into records, vinyl records, uh, my brother just opened up a store in Glen St. Mary, which is right outside of Jacksonville, Florida. Little small town. Um, stop in there. They do have a Facebook. Just type in bearded vinyl, just like it sounds. Um, it is my brother, so big shout out to him. I'm there you super go. proud of him. All right, Fred. The store. He uh, had a dream, and it's alive. We stopped in this weekend, and uh, it's amazing. What do you think? I thought it was awesome. The, the yeah. place looks really good. Um, I mean, he's got all kinds of selections, so any anybody who is uh, likes to collect vinyls or records, uh, definitely uh Take a look at his Facebook. Um, He constantly has new records that are coming in as well, too. So um, They do live shows, too. And they also, I mean, they have anything from 70s to 80s to Tay-Tay. 
to Tupac. Yeah. There's just a huge variety. And if you can't find it, he can search for it too. So there shout out to them. Bearded Vinyl. Bearded Vinyl. There we go. There we go. All right. So let's go ahead and let's start off with, uh, let's go ahead and some news. Uh, what we got for today for news? What are you, what are you well, starting off with? There was, there was a lot. There usually is a lot. Yeah. That I'm, fun fact, I'm going to start doing the news, you guys. Let's go ahead. Um, so let's talk about the big Friday. Yeah. What, <laughs> what happened? I, 70K. So right. It hit. What? What does it say? Go ahead. It's a 71.9. 71.9. So, yeah, that was kind of the top there. That's yeah. what they said. Yep. Um, they were just it's super crazy. Challenging an all-time high. Earlier Friday, the Bitcoin had a pullback. The sell-off with the rest of the cryptocurrency market was far larger than speculated. Um, speculative, speculative, whatever. Fever cooled. I mean, it just, Friday was crazy. Yeah. What do you think about that? Friday yeah, was Friday was crazy. It hit it hit a resistance, and we'll look at some of the charts, but it hit 71.9. 72 has been resistance. But eventually what's going to happen is it's going to punch through. Um, my thought is, and not financial advice, anything we say or do is not financial advice. This is just what we're doing. But my thought is that, um, you know, you have the Fed meeting, which we'll talk about too. Uh, unemployment claims came out, so that was a big one. Um, I really think it was just a flush out. There was high leverage out there, over a billion dollars in leverage. Was there more shorts or long on Friday? Uh, there was longs. I looked at it and I got caught too a little bit because um, I was. I actually got caught. I was. I didn't have a long in. I wasn't buying the top. I was buying when it was coming down, but I didn't wait for it to come down to settle to get back in. That was my fault. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, it says you know it looks kind of like you know again it came all the way down to sixty eight five. Um, you know, we might have a bounce back. It could um, happen again. But again, Fed meetings next week. Yeah, there's, so. you never know if they're, with the Fed meetings, they're going to raise the rates or they're not, they're going to yeah. blow them or they're not. We never know until it actually happens and sometimes nothing happens yes. at all. So it says that, you know, according to data track, 450 million in liquidations. Um, it says May came in stronger than expected with 272,000 jobs added, seamlessly dashed hopes of an intimate interest rate cut. So this basically, anybody who's not familiar with interest rates, if they cut, that's bad for the market, <laughs> which is weird. It's like high unemployment, high interest rates is good for the market because that's more money. But it's not good for people buying But if houses. they're cutting rates, that means rates are coming down. That yeah. means that money's going to get taken back out in this. Uh, money's going to get back out in the system. But... You know, the market, yeah. the market does what it wants. The Fed's going to do what the they DX feel is best. Yeah, I and the DXY did pump. So it anytime did. the DXY pumps, everything dumps. Yep, that's so that's sure. it. Um, I did want to jump in. I know it was not on, but if anybody watched Roaring Kitty, I there, I walked in because I'm my office is right there, and I heard Roaring Kitty in the background. I was like, this what guy. is that? Yeah, and then he's over here. It's the GameStop guy. I'm like, wait, I Look, thought he wasn't even here. over. There was like over six hundred thousand people. Um, on on the channel, this was this is just a playback. It's had over, How you know, many? over over two million two million views in the live. And I just jumped in, and I was like, this guy doesn't even look the same anymore. No, he's got long hair. Just he's long hair. I will say he was that. entertained, but he didn't say anything. And no. basically, GME dumped, and everything else jumped dumped. So I think it was a buy the rumor, sell the news. But I thought so. That's why I thought everyone was going to sell out of GME through Solana and then jump back in. But it didn't happen. And uh, we are we are trying to trying a new uh, view here. So if, if things get blocked, uh, I apologize. We're definitely trying to um, see here. Let me see, actually let me do this. Let me. I'm just gonna move you real quick. Let's see if I can move you <laughs> real quick. Move. Let me. Uh, yeah, because it's. Are you I video? Look, you must be video one, video two. Blocking. Here, let's. Let me transition back real quick. Hang on one second. Yeah, because this is. A, I was trying to do like a new view, just to see. Here, we're gonna put you down here. So while he's yeah. doing that, we'll you. go back yeah. to, we'll talk about some news. And yeah, then he'll that's a little, that's a little bit up. better. Yeah. We're good. Yeah. You guys are amazing to bear with us. This yeah. Trial and error. <laughs> All right. So There's let's talk jobs. about the jobs. So yep. it said 272,000 jobs in May, but unemployment rate edges up to 4%. Again, we don't know if it's going to go up or it's going to go down. Where we are, they're building and building and building. So I would speculate that the job rate will go up, at least where we are, with less unemployment. But again, nobody but that's, knows. But that's bad for the market, though. I know. They want more unemployment, <laughs> which is weird, for the market to keep going. So I, I really don't think there's going to be a, a rate a rate hike. I want to say they're going to go higher for longer. 
They're in. That's the, just my thought. For but. houses right now, I think they're in the sevens and the eights. Someone told me they sell a nine. Yeah. Which I've never seen a nine, and I was in underwriting for seven years, ten years almost, and I never ever ever saw a nine. So this is all new. Yeah. Definitely, it's it's kind of scary because it reminds me of when the mortgage industry crashed. People were buying when the rates were low, and that's what happened after COVID. The yeah. rates dropped really low, and then now people could be out of a job, so the houses are going to foreclosure again. It's very scary right now. Yeah, so unemployment did rise, so that's good. Yes. But there's more jobs, so it's kind of not good. But, I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, this is what the Fed wants. They want high unemployment. They don't want as many jobs, and they want the CPI. Now, the, the, remember, um, it did say that the cost of goods – has increased. I know. You go to the grocery store so, and you could spend twenty dollars on a whole meal. Yeah. It's you so, know, spaghetti or tacos or something like that. And now it's like forty dollars. That's why I don't think they're gonna cut rates. Because they can't. It's the nobody's C- gonna the, be able to afford anything. The cost anymore. cost of living is still high. So it's just crazy. So just keep an eye. Um what's what's going on next week for the Fed meeting? The Fed meeting is wh- it says July eleventh through the twelfth. Right? Did I have that? Yeah, I did. July, I mean, sorry, June. We're not in July yet. June, 11th through the 12th. Again, we don't really know. It, they will never tell you until the day of the meeting if they're going to raise or reduce the rates. We don't know. There's speculation, but until they actually do it, then there's no confirmation. That's what I was reading. Yeah, I want to say it's Wednesday. Wednesday. So, again, next Wednesday is CPI. My recommendation, do not trade that day. It is high, highly volatile. Highly volatile. Like, it's like... And then I think it goes stagnant jumper. during the meeting, right? Like, nothing happens during that. Yeah, um, but usually sometimes it'll, it'll just dump. So, But if it's going to pump into it, then it might dump. But if it dumps into it, then it's going to pump. It's like... Complete opposite of what is going to happen. Yeah. All right. What it. else? What else we got? I know we so got some more. Robin Hood, which I when I first started investing myself before I even talked to him about it, Robin Hood was one of my first ones to go to. It's a big name out there. Yep. It was also what I saw in underwriting. People were trading through there. Their four hundred one ks. That's how I got into it. Robin Hood. Um, I don't have Robin Hood anymore, account. but that's how I got into crypto. That's how I knew about it. So Robin Hood is actually going to inquire BitJam. And a two hundred million dollar deal, which is expected to close in twenty twenty five, the first half of twenty twenty five. I think it's interesting. Robin has a big name. Yep. And so is Bitjam. So uh, Bitget. A Bitget. Did you say Bitjam? I did say Bitjam. <laughs> Y'all, my handwriting is atrocious. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. She's not. She she doesn't know some of the I'm trading. I'm sorry. Problems. I was writing in the car yesterday, so forgive my handwriting, which you can't see. But, but didn't they didn't they say something about? Um, BitGet, they're going to, uh, is it China or somebody's going to open up? China is opening up to trade on Bybit. On Bybit, okay. So, d- maybe so that's going to be that huge right. too. <laughs> yeah, that's supposed to happen later on in the year, yeah. supposedly. But, you know, China kind of, China's like Florida, they have their own rules. That's yep. how I feel about China. You know, we do our own things in Florida. All right, what else we got? Let's see, uh, something about Polka Dot. What's going on Polka Dot? That's, a, that's, our, that's our bad boy Polka Dot. That was the Fun that's, one, just because I follow Polka Dot, they're that's saying it, one, it's a sleeping giant. They yeah. are initiating a new multi chain. They're working on a new platform as well. That's why I like Polka Dot because they're just. It's one of the first things that I ever said. Hey, let's invest in that. So that's my baby. Yeah, I also had a. I was trying to build a long on Polka Dot, and um, I did get flushed out of my long. Um, I, again, no stop loss. I was trying, I was trying a different strategy. Just, I, I was trying to build for the long term, and as it was going down, I was adding, um, but just was working and didn't put limit orders in that could continue. And I got stopped out. And, you guys, we'll always tell you the yeah. good, the bad, and the ugly because that's what we want to relay to you. Yeah, not, I lose not money. Be fake. I lose money. I gain money. Just that's how we learn through our <laughs> mistakes. So if we can help someone else learn through mistakes, you know. I was supposed to spend this weekend enjoying my weekend, but instead I was looking at some charts in the road. So, yeah, it, was, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't that we good. Had, we had good family time. Yeah, so it looks like notable <laughs> points. Uh, Akala, Akala Sina, upgrade. Sinai. Okay, so this this looks like it's kind of a... Um, a it's, going, L, it's an L2 from Polkadot, right? It's yeah, underneath it's Polkadot. They're, they're, yeah. The platform that they've been working on for quite mm-hmm. some time now, supposedly it's releasing really soon. Yeah. Um, again, it's just new upgrades to help it flow smoother. Okay. They're saying there's a 3% increase as well. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. Polkadot is a sleeping giant. It still has not 
Um, you know, it Bitcoin and Ethereum have definitely broke their channel. Their Polkadot hasn't even broke the channel yet, so that's why you know the next target could be back up to eleven. Uh, next target, I think, was like 20, 20, 20 or thirty bucks. It would take. 30, yeah, okay. I feel like we're good where we are with Polkadot. I would like to see it just continue to grow. Yeah. Again, it's a slow growth. It's not one of those that just shoots really fast. Um, next. All right, let's get into some charts <laughs> real quick. All right, so let's start talking about first. Uh, let's go into Big Daddy Bitcoin. So this is what I was talking about. Here is the channel I've been following. I've been following it back. You can kind of see all the way back from October when it, it you know spiked again. I think this is the, the, the phase one, phase two. We're pretty much in the phase two going into phase three. I mean, they do call it uh, DeFi summer. Um, so just kind of waiting to see what uh, Bitcoin does lead. Um, but if you look right here, so again, you know, we were at the uh, low at 56. We came up to 70, 71, 2, came down to uh, 66, 8, came back up, resistance, 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 came back down to 68, 4. And then right now, you know, again, typically for week, remember weekend, right? So weekend, you, you, it's going to kind of go back to the point of control, which it might come back, back here. I did put a 618. Um, in here to kind of see exactly maybe where it'll come back to. It did hit the 382, which is 69777. Um, but uh, I do, ex and again, maybe just it might do like another pump up and then come back down. Um, some folks are talking about 66. Um, you know, even if it touches the bottom of this channel, I mean, this could be 682. If it loses this channel right here, it most likely will come back down to 63. It looks like. And then the lowest target, which I would definitely be buying, is 55. The 200-day moving average is far apart on the daily. But, I mean, you can see it's never came back to this 200. Uh, ever since October, I mean, it came up and then bam. Came close and then bam. Um, so it might just hit this bottom of this channel at 63. Um, or, again, this was just a quick flush out and then we're heading to 83. So that's, uh, that's Bitcoin, what we're looking at. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the uh, total market cap. I did want to show you what I was looking at. And this is why um, I was kind of confident on, um, on Friday as far as I didn't think we we're going to come back down. I've been watching this channel right here. See, this channel has been about 2.43 trillion to about 2.59 trillion. It has just been ranging in this channel ever since about close to the end of May. Um, and again, if we lose this channel, if we lose, you know, 2.4, then we're definitely coming back down to 2.29. Um, and again, uh, just what I'm looking at, I've been kind of looking at this, this downslope channel. And as you can see, it's been, this is a, a bigger range since March. And then what I do is I like to zoom in and see what's the next range to kind of give me a better idea as far as like what's going on. So kind of keep an eye on that channel. If we do break, it looks like we're trying to make an attempt back up. Um, which again, it could be just a false move Monday. Keep keep an eye on that as well too. False move, um, I wouldn't recommend trading on Monday um, unless you see a really good, a good maybe a good short. But if we break this, maybe re come come back and retest and then back up to the top of the channel. So that's going on for the total market cap. Uh, Ethereum, um, Ethereum. I've also been following this channel as well too. Um, so as you can see, all the way back in February, we, were, we finally broke. 2500 looks like came all the way up to 4000 um it was on a down slope um obviously since a like probably march to april to may um i was kind of watching this channel to see if it was going to break it did finally break here and then so then that was a, that would have been a good long i had a couple longs in but not ethereum so now we're in this net we're in this new channel right this is if you can see with the total Look at that green candle with the total, well, the green. The reason why I have this green candle is because this is the March twenty two. I always like to look back and see you know where we were at. This was the March twenty two high of thirty five hundred. The next all time high is forty eight hundred, all the way up here. Whoa. This is the all time high. The all time okay. at forty eight hundred. We do have a support line at twenty eight hundred. So, my again, any dips right now is a buying opportunity. I cannot stress that as a buying opportunity. Whether you DCA, um, I wouldn't go heavy, you know, but it looks like, again, you know, coming from all the way here. So if we kind of, I'll probably maybe mark this off. This is going to be like the new channel right here. So that, I mean, and again, it just might range. 
So what's happening is, is, do you remember when I say what happens when it just ranges? What, what, what's everybody doing? Logging. Logging? Logging. Logging? <laughs> Longing? Longing. No, no. So if, it's in, if it stays in a channel, remember what we talked about? Like it, was, it just stayed in this channel. Yeah. What, is, what, is, what is everybody doing at that time while it's in that channel? Nothing. No, they're accumulating. So they're just sitting there accumulating. Accumulating, okay. right, for the next the next leg up. Okay. Right. And so, like, right here, right, um, if you look way, like, way back, right, everybody was accumulating all right here in the bear market. Accumulate, accumulate, accumulate. Boom, right? And then whoever was accumulating, I'm sure they're going to sell off. Then you have the sell-off downtrend, right? right? And then, boom, we're back into the next channel. So what might happen is, is that we might just bounce around here for a little bit, accumulate, 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 and, and then, then boom. Yep. So I would say um, if you are looking for a long or, sh you know, short, I, I mean, again, my rec I wouldn't necessarily be shorting in this market, especially on an uptrend, because um, there, there's it's just an uptrend. It's a straight uptrend. You can kind of see it's just been going up ever since October of last year. Um, you know, are we going to have these slight pullbacks like what we had? Again, yeah, that's for people who are over leveraged. Keep an eye on that. Um, all right, next up is um, I want to go into Solana. So that is one, my DCA right now is at 164. And I'll show you why I, I picked 164, just because I thought we had a good level at 165, right? So this was kind of the channel I was watching. Um, so this channel right here, it came down um, and it can, again, it kind of spiked. I started making this channel up here as we came, as we broke this channel, cause we were in a down, down channel. As we broke it, then I made a new channel. So you always want to look at like what what type of channel. Like this is the long term channel, but this is the one that's going up. If we do break, in my long term, I was trying to hit like one one ninety three was my target, and I, I was at like one seventy five. Was like two hundred bucks in, and I didn't hit it, and it just I didn't. I should have taken profit, but I mean it is what it is, um, and that's why they say it doesn't hurt to take profit. Um, but as you can see, it came down, hit the bottom of the channel. And then it's it and then it retest it one more time and now it's it's looking to rebound to come back up. Uh, six one eight I did put at one sixty seven, which again if it does come to one sixty seven, I'm gonna DCA a little bit out just to take a little bit, um, a little bit off and one seventy one. But if it keeps going, you know, great. My my target right here is one eighty eight, and then obviously I even have all time high for salt is two sixty. Um, so keep an eye on that. Everything right now, if we look at the RSI heat map right now, the four hour everything. Look, everything is oversold right now. I see that. Look at that. So remember, what did I say? What do you do when everything's oversold? Short. Les. <laughs> you don't short when it's red. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Long. Okay, so yeah. when it's oversold. Long. Long, overbought. You short. Short, yes. Like everything me. right here is, and that's on the four hour, right? I know what I was talking about. I was just On the 12 hour, there's a lot of stuff <laughs> down here. Um even on the 15. Now, it looks like some some are kind of starting to inch back up on the 24-hour. I mean, kind of in the middle or at the bottom. Let's see the one week. You know, one week, it looks like um, it was kind of up and down even. a little bit. Yeah, but, I mean, 24 hours, I mean, they definitely, especially in the four-hour. I mean, you can definitely trade the four-hour, you know, at the top of the channel and see what happens. But, yeah, definitely maybe take a look at that as well, too. All right, last but not least, uh, how much time I got? I'm oh, probably going. Okay. Um uh, let's go Doge. So Doge, I just wanted to point out, uh, looks like we have a support line at about 12 cents. Um, Doge has been, um, I haven't really seen a huge pump, the 200, which mat matches up with the 200, 200 MA. So even if it does come all the way back down, this could be a good opportunity to, to dabble in as well. It really says much about Doge to me. Like when it first came out, I was like Doge, Doge, but Doge, and then now it's. Check this out. If you if you if you do take a long, it's a fi just going back to the top of this channel is at twenty two cents. It's a fifty eight percent, fifty eight percent, um, a uh, fifty eight fifty eight percent increase. So that could be good. Um, but also too, again, six one eight on this one, sixteen cents. Top of the channel on this is eighteen cents. Um, it looks like it's starting to curve. I mean, you can kind of see. Look, when it, it hit, it went from eight cent all the way to twenty two cents. So the all-time high on this, I did mark it out. It looks like, uh, I want to say it was around 40 cents. I mean, even, I think maybe even at one point, yeah, of, one at first. it was at 75 cents. Um, but, I mean, Doge is always going to be a good player. Yeah, no, I know. Regardless of, of, uh, of what you, what you kind of look at. Um, but those are the ones I'm kind of charting right now. I'm kind of looking at. Um, I was in an injective. 
Um, let's take a look at my one position. I will show you where I'm at right now. Um, anybody who is in um, Sui, let me see if I still have it up. I might not have it up still. Let me take Sui? a look. Um, uh, nope. Thought maybe I had my. I had still had it up. Let me go. Let me let me check one more thing real quick. No, I don't need that. See, look at that. <laughs> see what happens when you're trying to click, 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 click. Um, nope. I thought I still had my chart up, but I guess not. Nope, I don't. Anyways, uh, let me just type in, uh, it's S-E-I, S-E-I. Oh. Um, this is an L2. That's what I was thinking. Um, and, um, and as you can see, it definitely, it went all the way up to $1.14. Right now, it's at 49 cents. Um, it looks like, uh, and it, it's definitely, it look on the daily, look at this. This thing is about to pump, right? Um, as you can see, it's making higher, higher, higher lows. So you have 40 cents, 44 cents. And I got it in that 40, 40, 48, seven, I think it is, uh, is where I, where I was. And I'm going to, and I basically, I got three levels that I'm DCing in and I have uh, 40, 48, seven, 47, seven, and 46, seven. So this is, as you can see right here, the, the, the low right here is at 46, three, three, one. And so just, just for it to come back to the 200 MA is, um, you know, a good, I mean, and again, this is just what I'm, what I'm looking at right now. I mean, that's at least a 30% markup, right? But just to go back to a dollar from 40 cents, I mean, that's 147% um, increase. increase, right? So I'm looking at, uh, it's, I think it's called say, say, but anyways, uh, I've, my first, I, I, I did buy this, I think last week at 45 cents, it went to 50 something cents. I got like, it was a hundred bucks or something like that. And I can't remember, I cashed it out. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, this one's pretty good. Um, keep an eye on it as well, too. We'll kind of track this one. Let me kind of see where it's going. So what I'd like to do is you see this right here. See this, see this resistance. So this is what I like to do. I like to take, take my little, little line chart right here. And I like to see, okay, I got resistance, 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 resistance. Now, once it breaks that resistance, boom, it's gone. Done. It's done. <laughs> and I've lost my video. Look, now, now you're gonna have to talk for me. <laughs> um, hi guys <laughs> yeah let's, uh, yeah i don't know what, what happened what happened it's okay my, we can still video. um yeah. he can still chart and talk yeah you just get to stare at my lovely face yeah so <laughs> it's i'll i'll fine. chart my video just went blank i don't we don't know we're trying a new yeah. one we may not keep this one um <laughs> tell us what you think yeah you like the normal or the new all way. right yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh let's go in right now um 24 hours uh let's take a look uh a lot of, like i said long's got liquidated but right now just in the past four hours everyone's shorting right now so what happens when everybody shorts <laughs> Sorry. Squeeze! Short squeeze! Squeeze some it's, shorts! It's Sunday. What are you too. doing? Don't short. Hey, I guarantee you tomorrow, tomorrow, how many people are gonna short tomorrow? You know why, right? Because they think once it once it bounces back, they're like, oh, oh, it's gonna go back down. Everyone says there's another. And then people just start shorting it because because so they saw they saw the flush. Right. So then when people start shorting, but that's right there. Already off the gate, people are shorting. Not good. I mean, it's good for me. It's good for us. <laughs> All right, let's look at the liquidation heat map. I love looking at this because this tells me where the market makers are probably going to send it tomorrow. Look at this. Look at this. Look That's at this lot. puppy. Seven hundred and thirty-one million at seventy-two-three. Market seventy-two-three. Seventy-two-three. All right, let's take a look at three-day. Three-day. Sorry, I'm excited about this short squeeze. <laughs> I love now, this. Now look at this. Okay. Mm, see, so here's here's what pop possibly happened, right? So remember, on the weekend, they go down, they trapped everybody who here, they did trap me a little bit, um, and then they usually like to pump it back up to the point of control. So this right here, there is 206 million, there's a lot, a lot up here. Um, ooh, it looks that, like there's some longs that are building up, it looks tomorrow? like. Um, or what's the time frame on that? Um, at least, and actually in 71, there's some up here. I think there's, it just looks like there's more, there's more liquidations up here up top at like 72. And this is on a three day. Oh, okay, okay. Le that's a three so day. It's and Wednesday. That's, no, no. When it says three day, that means what's happened in the past three days, oh. what happens in the past week. But it looks like, yeah, 731 million in liquidations Oof. all the way up here. Yeah. So mm -hmm. something tells me tomorrow. Um, I want to take a look at Seoul real quick. We'll see what happens. Um, Solana, I want to say it's 
It should go back up to like 176. I think I saw it. We'll get that. Look ah, at. There we go. 176. Mark it. 176. 176. Is 176. So Look, they got all these. So what's happening is everybody was shorting right here. Right. And then they, you know, like, oh, great, I'm gonna short. short. But then they didn't. They didn't. They didn't. No, this is this is liquidations for longs. Oh. This is that's what oh. happened, right? But that's because you see there was nothing up here. No, there was. So there was nothing cool. for them to grab. So what they did was they had all this right down here. So they got. Bing, 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 bing. It's like a domino. It just that's why it went all the way down. Oh man, okay, see, I wish I could have grabbed it at that that lows right there. Um, but I didn't. I didn't get a chance to. Um, all right, we're almost almost out of time. Uh, I just want <laughs> one more thing I wanted to go through, and then we'll and then we'll um, do the spin wheel, and then uh, we'll. We will, we will, we will, we'll call it. Um, again, RSI took a look at that too as well. All right, so let's go ahead. In my camera, I'm frozen. That's what happened, man. All it's, right. It's weird. I don't know. We've never had that actually happen before. Sorry, guys. It's okay. Meme coins. Let's talk about meme coins real quick. Um, so again, I lost. I was about to So ask. Remember, remember I talked about the stupid Kanye West crap? What did I say? Ugh, I mean, you know, I put 50 bucks in it, and then I'm like, mm, let me put another 50 in. I lost it all. It would look, it was like five cents and like five of a five of a five of a five of a five, of a five cent. What you garbage, <laughs> garbage. You know what? Out you go. Out you go. <laughs> off I, my, I said, off my watch list. I said, don't do it. I'm I just Swifty. wanted to try it. I know, but I'm a Swifty. So I, I... but you know what though? I should have went with, I should have went with a uh, big booty. Uh, it, is Iggy, Ziggy, Iggy, 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 Iggy. Look, Azalea. so remember, mother is mothering. Remember, we we said it was going to be like seven cents, right? Yeah, it pumped, did. right? Seven. I said, hey, go back, maybe get it at about four cents. I picked the wrong person. Damn it, Kanye. Damn you, Kanye. Anyways, but look at this. I mean, evidently, what she did worked, but she's nicer than him. Probably. Look, number twenty-eight <laughs> million. Um. All right, whiff with hat. Dog with dog with hat. We have a cat with hat. Cat with hat. hat. Okay. Now I would say dog with hat. Um, anybody who's you know, again, again, I'm not investing in this. this. Is just some I'm kind of watching. I might throw a couple bucks in just to see what happens. But it looks like uh, two two dot six six was a uh, was a good you know test. It does have a little bit lower at about two four. Um, but it could go back up to look three one six uh, three eight two is three nineteen three three fifty and three seven one. So. Um, yeah, it could be a could be a good bounce. Uh, bonk. Anybody who's uh, invested in Bonk, that's a big one on Solana as well too. Um, I followed this channel. It did hit, it did hit this line right here, which was about zero point zero two. You're not invested in that, are you? I have a little bit of Bonk. Gotcha. Just a little bit, not much. Um, again, I have I have like a little bag of each meme coin just to see. Uh, and I, I mean, if it hit, I want the thousand, you know, just to see what'll happen. But anyways, if this comes back. Um, all time high is at zero point zero 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 four. It's because <laughs> it's because there's so many like there's a lot of meme coins. All right, um, meow meow. Uh, it's called M E W. Okay, so I I would say with this one right, um, this <laughs> one this one actually has utility. That's why it's been booming. So I just want to read this real quick. This is cat and a dog's world. For too far long, dogs have ruled the world. We even our even channel is Tales of Crypto, right? Uh, but tails could be a dog or a cat. There's not an actual tails. But for us, it's dogs. But check this out. <laughs> this is what this is what they did. It says we are delighted to announce a partnership with Locust Studios to bring MEW's world uh, world to life and share it with the rest of the world. Mew's story is one of the related cat name Mew, who is Mew. alone and unfamiliar, ruled by dogs. So they're going to be creating some like this animated thing. That looks kind of fun, though. So that's kind of cool, right? Yeah. Um, it's cute. Second, you're, I, I'm, I'm going through pretty fast and I want it because I want to uh, get, get to the spin wheel. Secondly, Pink. Look what Pink did. I, I'm addicted to this game I, now. I, I guess. Shout out to the yes. people on Polkadot. This is, a P, this is a meme coin called Pink, but they turn, they actually turn it into a game, which is really smart because what happens is you actually have to buy tickets to play the game. So it's like 5,000 pinks. But look how many people are playing. So, and like the top winners get X amount of po X amount of money or points or something like that. I forget what it is. I mean, I've won a couple of But you have to match. Like it's the little thing that comes down. You have to match it. Yeah, right? you just you just match it. So I play Disney Emoji Blitz. It's almost like Tetris. Kind of like that. Yes. And then you just match them. And I, I'm telling you, this game's addicting. Gosh, That's why he doesn't pink. have games on his phone. But look at this. <laughs> Ever since the game came out. Um, I know. It actually has done pretty good. Um, and look at this. Uh, and so it did find the bottom about 0. 
But just going back to look, look, I did put this, and we do have, have you know, just to just to disclose, we do have pink. But look, to go back to all time high, one thousand percent. Let's do it. So that that Let's do that it. couple hundred bucks that we have in this pink can turn into a couple thousand dollars okay. if it goes back to all time high. I'm here for it. I but love look it. at, it. I mean, liquidity is ninety four. Yeah. Um, this is also something I did want to share this too. I know I'm going like crazy right now today. Um, what I wanted to share this, this is called DexTools.io. If you ever want to see, you know, if a meme coin is like a pump and dump, this is what I should have done with Yeezy. Don't get me wrong. Um, what you do is you just put the coin name in and you, and then this will tell, this will give you a score. It'll tell you what the market cap is. Look, market cap 7,000. Which one that was, is that? What's the top one? This is Kanye. Oh, okay. This is the, yeah. Uh, 7,000. Um, but yeah, this one shouldn't up. Yeah. Again, I. I should have just I should have looked it up before jumping into it. You were just testing it. But let's let's take a look at pink. What you do is you copy the contract address, and here it is, right? Here's pink, and you just click on it. And this will give you a Dex Tools um, score. This says 97%. Wow. So that's that's really good, right? Promising. Market cap 1.1 1. 1 million. Um, let me actually take a look at something else too as well. Let's go ahead, let's do pink. Um look okay, so this is actually just showing you like pairs. Um, I was trying to see maybe if, if if it was on here, but I mean, honestly, some of these say forty five too. But liquidations, I mean, they do have over a hundred thousand in, in liquidity in that in that pair, so I'm yeah. not I'm not too worried, especially when they have a game. So and the game um, is fun. Yeah, just keep it. You know, Either again, way. anything that you want to you want to invest in, Brett. Here's also any look twenty two percent. I'm not investing in this one, but is this one, this is on base, which is Coinbase's. Um, I have no clue what this is. It looks like a, I don't know. It's a weird guy. I don't know what it is, but any, any, but people seem to like it. So uh, yeah. I, I don't know. Um, but look at this one, 86, an 86 score. So that's good. It's got 1.8 billion. So that wow. right there to tell you that this is not just some meme coin. Like, look at this, look how it came all not the way from like 0.4. Exactly. Yeah. This, you know, I would really look anything like at least a 1 million market cap. If you're going to be, you know, dabbling, if not any meme coins, just get in and get out. Like, don't hold it. I've held on a stupid meme coin for the hot, the longest minute, and I've lost a little bit of money. So just uh, make your quick dollar and come right back yeah. out. GME, a last one. Uh, this is this is actually GameStop on Solana. Um, this one actually came all the way up to 33 cents. Oh. It was at it was at 0. Oh. 0. 0.003. You remember I bought this and then I just sold it and I was like, ah, it's not going to come back. And then you talked about it coming back. <laughs> and, then, and then it came back. See, sometimes you, you do. You never know. But you uh, never know. That's why sometimes yeah. you do have to hold it. No point intended. <laughs> All right. You ready to give away some money? I'm ready. All right. I, mean, I rambled on. Is enough. it coming to me? I rambled I'm just on. kidding. Is it what? I said, is it coming to me? Because you can give money to me. I mean. <laughs> all right. Look at all these names. Look at all these names. Look at all these names. All right. So this is what we're going to do. Um, the $100 is sponsored by Blowfin. Uh, Blowfin is uh, one of our um, sponsors. Um, and so basically what we'll do is we're going to, whoever, whoever the name is, please reach out to us on, you can't, obviously you can't reach out to us on YouTube. Um, you can actually post uh, on, uh, if you if you feel comfortable putting your um, email address in the comment. Um, you can also reach out to us on at, at uh, Tales of Crypto at X or at, on Instagram as well too um, to let us know you're the winner. And what we'll do is we'll send you a link to uh, Blowfin to sign up for an account and then um, you'll get a wallet and then we'll, we'll uh, cause uh, Blowfin sent, sent us the hundred bucks through there. Then we'll, we'll send it to the, your Blowfin um, account as, as well too, yep. um, as far as that piece. But it's a hundred bucks is a hundred bucks, but uh, all right. So let's go, let's go and no, boom. Hole, let's see who the lucky winner is. No way, man, no way, man, no way, man. Stop. And the winner is ALTV86. Congratulations. Congratulations. You've won $100 of your favorite coin. So even though if it's a Blowfin account, you could, I'll send you USDT, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, Doge, Gummy, Brett, <laughs> whichever, Brett. whichever, whichever, whichever you want, whichever you want. Yes, yes, yes. Good Congratulations. Morning. My phone still did. Thank you again, everybody, for being fantastic, for following us along on this journey, for all the comments, for all the love. We are very, very appreciative. That's why we want to continue to give back. Right? That's it. That's it. <laughs> 
All right. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank I really so do much. appreciate it. Please stay safe out there. Please, you know, only invest what you're willing to lose. Again, this is not financial advice. Please remember in the comments below, put in your meme coin. Again, we're also going to uh, put in our wallet to, if you want to send any meme coins. Uh, we'll review those meme coins as well. But as always, stay safe out there. And uh, until next time. Have a great week. Go and be great today. All right, guys.